Hi movie lovers, welcome to Then and Now Entertainment. On this video we will feature actors in a thriller romance movie from 1992, titled Basic Instinct. What's the latest movie from the cast and how have they changed after 30 years, it's all in this video, so without further ado, let's check it out. Steven Tobolowski was born on May 30, 1951 in Dallas, Texas, USA. So far Tobolowski has appeared in 130 movies and 132 TV series. Some of the best movies that he has co-starred in, such as, Fractured, The Confirmation, The Barber, and You May Not Kiss the Bride. His upcoming movie is titled Love Virtually, which is entering the post-production stage and planned to be released this year. Mitch Pileggi was born on April 5, 1952 in Portland, Oregon, USA. So far Pileggi has appeared in 39 movies and 64 TV series. Some of the best movies that he has co-starred in, such as, American Traitor, The Trial of Axis Sally, Polaroid, Man in the Chair, and The X-Files, I Want to Believe. His latest movie was released this year, titled Desert Shadows. Wayne Knight was born on August 7, 1955 in Cartersville, Georgia, USA. So far Knight has appeared in 50 movies and 72 TV series. Some of the best movies that he has co-starred in, such as, Blindspotting, Punisher, Warzone, To Die For, and Jurassic Park. His upcoming drama fantasy movie is titled Darby and the Dead, which has been completed the production process. Chelsea Ross was born on October 26, 1942 in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, USA. So far Ross has appeared in 56 movies and 36 TV series. Some of the best movies that he has co-starred in, such as, New Money, Trouble with the Curve, Drag Me to Hell, and Horseman. His latest movie was released this year, titled Cowboy Drifter. Lalani Sorrell was born on September 28, 1966 in Los Angeles County, California, USA. So far Sorrell has appeared in 20 movies and 18 TV series. Some of the best movies that she has co-starred in, such as, The Two Pamelas, Midlife, Five Hour Friends, and The Harvest. Her latest movie was from 2016, titled Black Road. Dennis Arndt was born on February 23, 1939 in Issaquah, Washington, USA. So far Arndt has appeared in 26 movies and 49 TV series. Some of the best movies that he has co-starred in, such as, Banditas, SWAT, Undisputed, and Metro. His latest movie was from 2014, titled Dolphin Tale 2. Jean Marie Triplehorn was born on June 10, 1963 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, USA. So far Jean has appeared in 32 movies and 14 TV series. Some of the best movies that she has co-starred in, such as, Gloria Bell, We Only Know So Much, Little Pink House, and A Perfect Man. Her latest movie was from 2020, titled Anna. George Zunda was born on July 19, 1945 in Rosenheim, Bavaria, Germany. So far Zunda has appeared in 47 movies and 36 TV series. Some of the best movies that he has co-starred in, such as, City by the Sea, Above Suspicion, Instinct, and Crimson Tide. His latest movie was from 2011, titled Danny Lowensky. Sharon Von Stone was born on March 10, 1958 in Meadville, Pennsylvania, USA. So far Stone has appeared in 79 movies and 27 TV series. Some of the best movies that she has starred in, such as, All I Wish, Running Wild, Fading Gigolo, and Casino. Her upcoming drama romance movie is titled What About Love, which has been completed the production process and planned to be released in 2023. Michael Kirk Douglas was born on September 25, 1944 in New Brunswick, New Jersey, USA. So far Douglas has appeared in 59 movies and 16 TV series. Some of the best movies that he has starred in, such as, Ant-Man, The Game, Solitary Man, and Traffic. His upcoming action movie is titled Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, which is entering the post-production stage and planned to be released in 2023.
Now we come to the last part of this video. Here are some interesting facts about basic instinct. Sharon Stone was director Paul Verhoeven's choice, but was only offered the role of Catherine after 13 actresses had turned it down, as she was not a leading actress at the time. Sharon Stone revealed that she didn't feel comfortable around Michael Douglas, and the feeling was probably mutual, but it worked for the movie. No body doubles were used in any of the sex scenes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, if you like this video.